so we'll go into it. Now this picture right here, this painting, uh, is another one of my storyable pictures, and I got the idea from doing, uh, from reading in Al's book, he, had, he illustrates an ad that was in the old directory for the Red Light District, and it says, Antonia Gonzalez, world's foremost female cornetist, and it gives her a dress, and there's a little blurb, it says, Miss Gonzalez is a very talented musician, and she could have had a life on the stage had it not been for the many friends that she made in her present profession. And so I started uh, thinking about it, and I said, uh, well, all right, this friend of mine calls me up, he's an attorney, and uh, he says, I'd like you to do a, a painting for my office. And I said, I got a great idea, Cicero defending Caecina. I've been working on, you know, the idea of the Roman civil. He said, no, George, he says, I want one of those pictures you've been doing about the red light district in New Orleans. I said, for your office? He said, yeah. And so this actually hung in my friend's office, in his office. <laughs> and people would come in and there was this fat lady playing a trumpet, right? Uh, he got a big kick out of it. It's now in their house. He, uh, uh, he put it in his house. But um, this is uh, so what my idea of what Ms. Un Ms. Gonzalez would have been doing. She would be entertaining people with a trumpet playing. I guess that's what she was doing, unless trumpet playing was something else. It was a t something else that meant something else. You know, it was a double entendre. But anyway, that's what that is. Okay, now. Now, oh, wait, look, see, this is the drawing that I did for, for the painting. Uh, the, when I do, when I work, I work in the, what they, what it was, I don't, it was called the, the academic method, the French academic way you, method where you, in order to do the picture, you have a, you have a, uh, uh, you build your, you build your way through, you sort of create an avenue to the painting. You have a conceptual phase and an executive phase. The painting is the executive phase. The drawing represents a more conceptual phase where, uh, uh, now I've actually, I'm gonna explain it even further with the, the, this picture, but this is a drawing that I did for that painting. And um, uh, it has everything that I'm gonna put in the painting except the color. But what this does is it gives, it gives the, you see I'm doing this as a, um, a commission. So what these studies that you would do in the drawing, the final drawing, gives your client an inkling of where you're going with the picture. It's like how an architect would work. An architect just doesn't, design the house and then present it to the client. The client gets to see it in, its fa in, the, in the different creative phase, phases that, it's, that the design uh, schedule is going through. So that's what this does. It does two things. It shows my client where I'm going with the picture. And let me tell you something. It's easier to erase lead paint, you know, uh, graphite than it is to erase oil paint, right? They say, oh, there's something wrong with the mouth. Right, particular you know, people are just concerned about their portraits, and that's because that, that's what Sargent said. He said, "Oh, portraiture consists of there being something wrong with the mouth." <laughs> right? Right? So anyway, uh, but this presents this presents the the um, the, uh, the picture to him before you do the picture, uh, and it, like I say, it, it, it makes them feel better about where what, what they're spending their money on. But there's a, it, there's a third factor that gets involved in it's entertains them. Uh, it's um, it, they enjoy it. And that's important because, you know, it's all entertainment. It's, it's theatrical. It's um, but the way, at least the way I'm doing it. I'm not, I, what you see is what you get. You're getting a painting of Governor Edwards and the, the news uh, and his lawyers. That's what that is. It's no more than that. It's no more than that. It's, uh, there's no metaphysic involved, right? I, I have no ideology, none whatsoever. The only ideology I, I subscribe to is the first book to be written in the modern age on pain, it was written by, um, by uh, um, uh, Alberti, Leon Alberti, great, you know, the, the great uh, Renaissance scholar, Florentine. He said, painting exists in order that the dead should live again and the distant brought near. Now here is what I'm talking, what he's talking about essentially. Now he's, it could be anything, I mean it doesn't have to be Roman, but it, you know, it's, uh, it's, um, it's the er definition of painting. Now after that, it takes off and becomes, it becomes a lot of other things too, but being a reactionary, I'm what you call a romantic reactionary, I look backwards, that's more than enough for me. The dead living 